Hi, I'm Rachel. I am 34 years old and I was diagnosed with lupus three and a half years ago. I had symptoms of sun sensitivity. That was my major complaint. I couldn't be out in the sun for more than a few minutes and my skin would feel like it was on fire. I would break out in the typical lupus butterfly rash on my face, sometimes within a few minutes from being outside. And in between the spring and the summer was the worst for me because I would sometimes get that rash once a week on my face and it was just so incredibly painful. It got to the point I couldn't even go to the dentist's office without putting on sunscreen and wearing sunglasses because just being on his light, under the light on the chair, was painful for my face. Um, I started becoming so fatigued, I'd come home from work and just lay on the couch and I, I couldn't be the mom I wanted to be for my daughter. Um, I basically would just turn on the TV when she came home because I didn't have energy after work to do anything with her. Um, I had so much pain in my legs, I had to give up running, which was a passion of mine. I used to run half marathons and I just, I couldn't run anymore. My body wouldn't let me. And I started to feel a little better, so my husband and I decided to try for another baby and um, I ended up with a miscarriage about three and a half months into the pregnancy and that was very hard for us and we after some blood work we found out that was because I was at risk for thrombosis which can be um, another complication with people with lupus so I was put on aspirin and after that I had a major flare-up again and I was getting the butterfly rashes I was getting fevers unexplained fevers all the time so I always felt like I had the flu and I was just very fatigued and and my legs always hurt just always in pain and um, I started to feel better I started to recover from that flare-up and talking with my doctors they decided that I was healthy enough to try for another baby so my husband and I made that decision okay we're gonna try again and when I was about eight months pregnant I started getting very scared that I was gonna have this baby and be even more sick after I had him. So when I was eight months pregnant, I heard of this book called Goodbye Lupus, and I thought, hmm, I like the title of that. So I read it in a day, and I did my best to try to follow the protocol, but I wanted to make sure this was healthy for me to do at the time, since I was so pregnant, and I didn't know if I was doing it correctly. So I set up a, an appointment with Dr. Goldner and I met with her through Skype and she was so amazing and so motivating and she told me that I can do this and she laughed when I asked her if this was safe to do when I was pregnant. She's like, of course it's safe. She's like, not only is it going to give you nutrients, but it's going to give your baby nutrients. So I completely changed the way I was eating at nine months pregnant. I was literally four weeks from my due date. and. I, it, I was so shocked. I, I did this because I was hoping I wouldn't get a flare-up after pregnancy and maybe it would help subside my lupus symptoms in general. Um, but two days into doing this, I had so much energy and I felt amazing. Uh, two weeks into this, when I was pregnant, my Sjogren's symptoms went away. I didn't have the dry mouth. I mean, for years I was sleeping with a humidifier on and getting up three, four, five times a night for a uh, dry mouthwash to use because my mouth has always been so dry. And two weeks into this, my Sjogren's symptoms were gone. My aches and pains were gone, which at this point in my life, I thought it was from the pregnancy, but apparently not because once doing her protocol, once I started doing her protocol, my pains went away, my back felt better, my legs felt better. And actually one week before my due date, I was running around a park teaching my almost four-year-old how to fly a kite. Um, my husband was telling me, you know, sit down, sit down. He was worried about me, but I, I felt great. And I gave birth to a beautiful baby boy and I had a C-section. My daughter was a C-section, so he was a C-section as well. I was out of that hospital within 48 hours um, and I came home, I recovered so quickly and I kept doing her protocol and I still am. My baby is now five weeks old and he is amazing and I feel great and I don't have the sun sensitivity anymore. I don't have any pains in my legs anymore. I am sitting out here in a park with a five week old and my husband and my daughter, I'm watching them in the distance, they're playing and I couldn't feel better. 
and I recently just had some blood work done a week ago and a lot of the blood work markers they do to show for inflammation is negative. Even my Sjogren's lab work is showing negative. So I couldn't be more grateful for Dr. Goldner and for giving me my life back, making me the mom I want to be. I, my daughter comes home from school now and I play with her. I don't sit on the couch even with the lack of sleep I have with a newborn. I am running around and I am enjoying my life. So um, for that, thank you. I'm truly, truly grateful for, for reading her book and for working with her and for continuing to work with her. I've never felt, I haven't felt this good in years. So thank you.